Hey there everyone, welcome to another video. I'm here with you to share some of my recent purchases for the fall winter season to add to my wardrobe. You may recall in the previous video called how to plan a fall wardrobe, I shared with you a snapshot of my personal checklist, items I want to get to fill in the sparse spots in my wardrobe. Um, not only did they need to be functional for different aspects of my life, they needed to be versatile, they needed to fit me being only about 5'2", so petite in size, um, as well though they needed to be appropriate for this time of the year of course. I live here on the west coast in Vancouver so seasons are probably a little different than where you are perhaps. Um, it hasn't really gotten to our proper winter yet. That doesn't roll around until usually end of December or even into January and February. So I'm still working with a lot of kind of fall to winter transitional weather but I will tell you there is a lot a lot of rain. It's raining all the time so I need to dress for a lot of wet weather and windy weather. So it gets chilly. It's not necessarily freezing yet. I don't need to break out you know the goose down parkas but you do need you know a good coat, you do need tights, you do need pants for the most part. Um, and if you are wearing a dress, you need something with a thicker fabric, you need good waterproof boots. I'll show you all of those things in today's video, so I hope that you enjoy. My first item here is a dress. This is from Gap. I bought it during one of their sales. I got this, I would call it a princess themed fit and flare dress with extended cap sleeves. It is in a really great thick knit fabric that is appropriate for a colder um, weather or time of the year. It is not lined but it is quite comfortable and I think thick enough that you can get away with layering some shapewear underneath or even a tank and tights to keep you a little warmer and then pop a sweater over top if you would like. I love that this piece is actually made with some great edge finishes. You have the bias bound um, edges here along the neckline. The armholes are bias bound as well. It's a zip back with an invisible zipper. I love that this is a very flattering shape except for the fact that I wish the shoulders were just a little bit longer that it's more of a real sleeve versus a cap sleeve. I found with the cap sleeve it tends to make the top of your arms look a little chubbier if you do carry some weight here. I know a lot of you do as well. So I would probably wear with a cardigan or wear with a sweater over top just to work around the cap sleeve but the rest of it fits very very well. I got this in a petite sizing. Again all the info will be down below but really great find here from Gap. It comes in another color as well but mine is a navy and a white stripe. My next item are actually one of two things that I bought from H&M. It is part of their Conscious brand. I'm not exactly sure the meaning behind that. Maybe you know or you want to look it up. But essentially, it is this really lovely fine knit sweater. And I'm wearing the gray one today. It also comes in a dark, I want to say it's a dark gray, but they market it as a black. So I did get both colors. What I like about this though is that it has a frill detail on the hem here and it is a high low hem. The back is just I want to say a tiny bit lower than the front. At least that's how it looks when you put it on the body. Um, it is a simple crew neck so a bit of coverage for your chest when it gets cold and of course you can layer it with um, something underneath. The sleeves are long so it will hide any thermals that you want to wear but it still looks nice and polished from the um, outside here. I also really like the fact that this is a wool blend. If you're shopping for the colder weather and you don't want to be really bulky, other than layering, you really need to look for natural fibers. Um, even just a little bit of wool or something like that will keep you warmer than those acrylic sweaters um, that's without. So this I believe is about 5% wool. Um, H&M sometimes will do these. They're not a high percentage. They do have a premium line and sometimes they will be like 40% wool. You know, that will keep you a lot warmer but that tends to also be much more expensive. So I've gone for these. I think they're about $30 a pop, $29.99. 99 Canadian which I thought was still pretty reasonable for a nicely styled sweater that you can wear casually or pair with some fancier clothes for work. 
also from H&M by complete surprise I found a pair of pants now being 5'2 looking for pants is the most irritating thing ever I if I could I would just never wear pants it would just be dresses and skirts because you just pull over your head or pull it up and you're done pants in terms of the length and the fit is so complicated and for me I have bigger hips so whatever that fits over the hips is too big in the waist and vice versa it's a big pain I know many of you have similar um, body types to I do and that can be an issue when shopping for off the rack fashion as well I found this pair of pants that on the rack does not look like the most flattering thing especially because it has all the things that make it look like maternity pants okay it, it does but I think if you have wider hips or you have a slightly bigger bum or something like that this has enough room to accommodate for all of you and um, still fit well at the waist so it is a pleated front um, I want to say slightly tapered leg pair of pull-on pants with elastic in the back like does this not sound scary from the description it is everything that could be wrong and unflattering in a pair of pants however this is um, very easy to wear very comfortable fits over my hips very nicely easy doesn't feel too baggy fits at the waist it's you know with the elastic back but it looks neat in the front with the um, front waist panel here and it is also got a little bit of wool in it as well like I mentioned with the sweater it's really essential for keeping warm and for layering I also recommend wearing these with a pointed toe flat or a high heel just to make things a little more modern than looking too frumpy but totally comfortable pair and looks a bit more put together um, than your average pair of you know tights or something like that so this is a great one I think for work if you Fit the size so I got this from H&M I think it was about 35 which in my opinion if you're gonna wear them often they're still quite affordable comes in navy as well as black as we are talking here the rain has started to come back and you can hear it outside the window and uh, yeah what else can you say about the west coast I hope our lighting will still be okay it is darker now in the room but I'm gonna try and make it work and just when to get through this video okay my next item is a real great find I originally saw it in the clearance section of Forever 21 but it was an extra large and it had a rip on the side because someone was probably careless when they tried it on and they tugged on it and they ripped the suede but this I found it online on a whim at a discount so for 50 bucks um, I got this very lovely lavender colored genuine suede trench coat it is a trench coat so a lot of coverage from the wind and the rain I'm not necessarily cold all the time but I'm cold because of the wind it gets very windy even though the temperature doesn't necessarily drop that low at least not yet I love that it has all the classic details of a good trench it's got the epaulets I think that's what it's called on the shoulder with a snap it's got the princess seaming for shaping it's got princess on the back um, it's got you know the notch lapels it is a just a beautiful color I think having a bright or a lovely color coat in the fall and winter season really boosts your mood and boosts your outfit if you don't want to go for the traditional um, neutral darker shades um, you know a winter pastel something I was looking for when I did my fall wardrobe planning and this fits in there perfectly for now seems to be great I love that I get a lot of coverage the sleeves are slightly long for me though but it's not like I'm drowning in them quite yet so I'm gonna make it work I think it's a great find for 50 bucks Canadian my last two items are shoes and I think they're very essential if you are going to be out and about all the time I take transit all the time and you gotta do the walking you gotta be practical but you still want to be stylish so one pair that I was recommended by a really lovely sales lady um, over at Nordstrom she told me about the brand called Blondo and Blondo is a Canadian brand I did a little googling afterwards and they make waterproof leather and suede shoes these are miraculous so I'm so happy to have found these shoes 
from Blondo. They are a short booty. They got a little bit of a heel. There is one that has a higher heel. I went for the lower one for good walking. It has rubber on the bottom here, so it's good for um, wet, slippery surfaces. It is genuine suede, but it's treated so that it is waterproof. And I can splash around in these all day and walk around in them without fear. And they go with so many of my outfits. They come in a dusty um, beige taupe as well as this black. I went for the black pair, but I mean, easily both pairs are very neutral and i think the dusty taupe one goes really well with light wash denim which i also like to wear this time of the year my last pair of shoes here are great for your nine to five job and even great for you know weekends or going out to after work because i think they are a real classic and they're very reminiscent of the ferragamo varas which i lusted over so in that while I was searching for my perfect varas, um, I found these and they are just gorgeous. They are very, very similar in style and they're from the brand Trotter. So they're more of a comfort brand that focuses on versatility and casual style and comfort footwear versus high fashion footwear. But I mean, these are really, really classic. I love that it has the ribbon detailing in the front it's got the buckle as well it is a square cut toe it has a small block heel um, it's got good grip on the bottom I know this is really important for those of you who work um, who transit to work and you gotta walk around outside and then go into your office space you don't want slippery shoes because accidents are bound to happen and I think these will be great from kind of day to night as well. The navy is a great change from a standard black, but if you love, you know, something like that in the black, it comes in regular black as well as patent black. Um, or I got these from amazon.ca, so I'm so happy with them. I think they're fabulous, and I hope that you have a look at these as well. And with that, this wraps up our video for today. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, I love chatting with you and being able to just share really great finds you know i always get excited when i see something really good i'm like oh i wish i could tell you which fyi if you follow me over on instagram or twitter and things like that i'm always tweeting deals at you that like go get this this is great and it's on sale um if you would like to see any further fashion videos you want to learn how I would put something together how to style something any of the items I've shown here I'd be happy to do that for you I kept it pretty simple today and I just tried on the items because I wasn't sure how in-depth this should go so I left it pretty basic again all the details for any of these things are in the information bar along with my own sizing um, if you want size references so please check that out otherwise give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't and I'll talk to you next time Take care of yourselves. Bye.